everybody let us go quick quick let's start with our brows I'm gonna make them nice bold and try to give myself a little arch here so welcome to a new video everything went wrong while filming and editing this video so well you'll see anyway <laughs> keeps working on them eyebrows here we go yes good job next is concealer so any blemishes dark circles anything you want to cover anything at all or nothing at all I'm just gonna apply concealer and then blend it out with my beauty blender I'll do this under my eyes for my eye circles and the redness around my nose I'm just gonna add a little extra concealer on my eyelids to give myself a nice base to work with Moving on to eyeshadow, I use this caramel color from my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. You know it, I use it all the time and this is gonna be my base color. We're working with very warm colors today, so this one is perfect as a base. And you'll notice that I'm gonna use two brushes throughout this video. I'm gonna pack some color on and I'm gonna use my fluffy brush to blend it all out. Take note, we're gonna do a lot of blending today. But next I'm going to be using my Sweet Peach palette because I have a bunch of warm colors in there that I just love. So this is Candy Peach, it's a coral-ish pink and I'm going to apply it to the center of my eyelid and also below my eye also in the center blended out with the previous color. This color is some yum, it's a very warm brownish reddish color. I'm going to be applying it right in the middle of my eye crease and then I'm going to blend it inwards and outwards with the previous color. The goal to this eyeshadow is to create a perfect gradient, so blend as much as you need to and as far as you want depending on your eye shape. Don't hesitate to go back and forth between colors. Here I'm going to add a bit more of the coral color in the center and then back and forth with the summer yum brown color. For a darkest color, I'm using this dark red wine color. And I'm going to pat a good amount in the outer crease, the outer V, and then again, I'm going to be blending it appropriately. So blend with the dark red and then come back with the luscious yum brown and blend out. It's a smoky eye, so you're gonna have to add and blend, add and blend, and switch between brushes. That's the main point. When I was happy with my blending, what I did here was I came back with the pink coral shade Candied Peach and just went and blended the outer edges to make it more diffuse and perfect our gradient smoky effect. Now for the finishing touches, I'm adding peaches and cream to the inner corners and nectar to the brow bone. Time to clean up a little. If you've had any fallout, I'm using my concealer again and blending it out. And once we're done cleaning up, we're pretty much done with our eyeshadow. Ta-da! <laughs> Real quick, I'm going to apply some powder to my face to set everything in. And then I'm going to move on to my eyeliner. This is a brown eyeliner that I'm just going to dot close as possible to my lash line. We want to keep it natural as possible, but this will give it an effect of thicker eyelashes. Speaking of eyelashes, this is the part where you curl your lashes, add falsies if you want to, or if like me, you only have mascara to work with, add a good few layers of mascara to your lashes and fan them out. Now for bronzer to warm up my face, I'm using this golden warm bronzer on my cheekbones, on my forehead and on my jawline for dimension but also to add some golden light to my features. You can skip this step if you want to, but I'm blending some of this dark blush to the bronzer. As a little reminder of our eyeshadow gradient, most importantly though is highlighter. Add some highlighter, look at that magic, to the high points of your cheeks or to enhance any features on your 
Bache. For lips, as always, I don't have the proper shade, but I'm going to be creating it as always. I'm going to be using this dusky pink shade and blending it with concealer. I know it sounds weird, but I'm going for this nude pale pink color. I was actually aiming for something a little darker, but this will do. Just adding a bit of lip balm here because of how dry the concealer made my lips look. Time for last looks. Do your hair, add some accessories because we are done. Hope you enjoyed this look, guys. I'll word you all. See you very soon.